You have probably seen in the news about the major computer security vulnerabilities called Meltdown and Spectre, but in this video I'm going to do a run through of what you need to know at a more basic level, as it affects all computer systems and all operating systems. The vulnerabilities lie within the CPU, the central processing unit, and the kernel, which is the heart of your operating system and what allows your applications to communicate with the hardware. That's kind of some basic level of it. So Meltdown is vulnerability of applications being able to read memory which is allocated to the kernel. Spectre is the vulnerability of applications being able to read shared memory, reading memory of other applications. The problem with Spectre is that you could read passwords from another application, or in the case of Windows because the hashes of passwords can be stored in memory, so potentially an application could gain access to your password. It will be an encrypted password, but the encryption of passwords in Microsoft and Windows is poor. So that is quite easy to retrieve. Although I am simplifying it a bit, it is a more complicated vulnerability to achieve. So should you rush to patch your systems? No, despite the hype of all of this, there is no actual malware in the wild exploiting this. The problem is it will have a performance degradation and may actually impact the ability of an antivirus checker to work properly on your system. So it could actually cause more problems than it solves. So Windows and Mac users may want to hang back from applying the updates. Linux users don't typically use antivirus so much, so you could go ahead and apply the updates. It's gonna be less of an impact. There will be a performance impact for owners of Intel CPUs, but it's more on a case-to-case -case basis. It shouldn't be too much of an impact for your personal system. The performance impacts are generally against servers and particularly SQL servers. So any businesses are actually advised not to patch SQL servers at this point. <laughs> so just bear that in mind, don't necessarily rush to patch. Maybe you might want to let other people experiment first and the patch is to be, let's say, better implemented before you use them. Intel's PR response is absolutely disgusting. They are under the notion that everyone is affected and that their products are still brilliant. No, Intel are actually the worst affected by this. They are more susceptible to the meltdown exploit due to the speculative execution they're carrying out in their CPUs. It affects pretty much all CPUs manufactured since 1995, with the exception of some of the early Intel Atom CPUs used in netbooks and Intel Itanium CPUs used in servers, mainly HP servers. AMD's response has been much more positive, and they have given a clear indication of what they're actually vulnerable to. So this is with Spectre, so there are actually three variants of Spectre. The bounds check bypass, the branch target injection, and the rogue data cache load. So variant one is an issue, and patches are being given to the operating system providers. So that's Microsoft and Linux in this case. Mac OS, not really affected, don't really use AMD on there. Variant two has been a near zero risk and has not been demonstrated and variant 3 is a zero risk at all, so all good there. ARM's response has also been positive. Now, ARM CPUs are generally used in lightweight devices such as mobile phones and Raspberry Pis. One of their unreleased Cortex CPUs is actually vulnerable to Meltdown, but yeah, since it's unreleased at this point, I'm not going to discuss that, although they have specified that some of their CPUs are vulnerable to certain variants of Spectre. And we do have a table here, and if your CPU is not listed here, then it is not affected. A large quantity of Android mobile phones and other Android devices are affected, but Google have stated that supported devices with the latest security updates are protected. In terms of the Google-owned devices, that is the Nexus 5X and Pixel devices, are patched. Google's Chrome browser is currently vulnerable to Spectre, but is due to be patched in version 64, which will be released on the 23rd of January. Again, it is a similar situation with Chrome OS, that in version 63 is vulnerable, but it will be updated in version 64. Some Chrome OS devices are end of life and no longer receiving updates. Check your specific model. Mozilla's Firefox is already patched and fixed in version 57. Microsoft Internet Explorer and Edge are currently vulnerable, but is due to be patched with the KB4056890 patch. And that is due to be released on the second Tuesday of this month, or in fact, it might be released earlier because there was some emergency patching being carried out by Microsoft. And that is for all supported operating systems, that is Windows 7, 8.1 and 10. Opera is currently vulnerable, but is due to be patched when Chromium hits version 64, so it may lag a bit behind 
Google's Chrome browser. The reason I've mentioned browsers here is because Spectre is currently remotely exploitable, although I've not seen any actual evidence of that occurring yet, but it is the theory that it is remotely exploitable. In terms of the Linux kernel, version 4.15 is patched, and patches have been backported to 4.14.11, plus all the other long-term support kernels, which are still currently supported. So even if you're on a long-term support operating system like Debian, you will actually receive a patch. Some of the updates are already coming out, but I expect we'll see more updates on the 9th of January. Canonical have stated that all supported versions of Ubuntu will receive updates, that is version 17.10, 16.04 and 14.04. 1204 will be updated if you have paid for the extended maintenance package. And version 18.04 due to be released in April 2018 will ship with the newer kernel and therefore will not be vulnerable. Optimized kernels have also been shipped to cloud web services. Raspberry Pi is not vulnerable. The ARM CPU they use is not exploitable in such a way. Microsoft has begun shipping updates to Windows 10, but as I stated earlier, you may want to hold off because antivirus checkers may not work properly with the updates. So they've issued an outer band update for Windows 10 version 17.09. Updates have been issued to Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008, as well as Windows 8.1 and Server 2012. For Apple devices, Apple has already released mitigations for iOS 11.2, macOS 10.13.2, and tvOS 11.2. To help defend against meltdown, Apple Watch is not affected. In the coming days, they plan to release mitigations for Safari to help defend against the Spectre vulnerability. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you all later.